Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular tutorial, we will learn how to install Material UI in Angular application. So first of all, I will tell you what is Material UI and how we can install it. And after installation, it will make some changes in our Angular project file, and we will discuss these changes. Then we will run some example of Material UI, and at the last, we will discuss some interview questions also so first question is what is material ui so see this is the html and css library that can enhance our application uh, look and feel how it can enhance it will add some extra properties to our buttons to the you can say uh, input elements and they will look more beautiful than the default uh, style yes we can also add some manually style also with these buttons and input elements but it will take lots of time but whenever we will use material ui it will give better look and feel in less time so now let's see how we can install it for that i just want to take you uh, on the official website of material ui so just search here angular with the material ui and material dot angular dot io is the official website for material ui for angular right because material ui can also be used with the react also and with the, some other framework also so they have some different uh, official website for angular uh, the official website is material.angular.io and let's click on the get started after that it will just tell the steps of installation and we can just copy it the command and we can run it in the terminal you can use your operating system terminal or your uh, 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 browser terminal also not a browser actually your uh, code editor terminal you can use right and whenever you will run this command it will ask some questions like which uh, a theme you want to install and you want to install the typography or not so you can just select this thing according to your requirement but by default you don't need these things so you can just ignore it for a uh, learning purpose right so you can see that the all these things are mentioned also here like uh, choose the custom name for theme and uh, select the global angular material typography and all and after that it will just tell that uh, it makes some changes in the package.json index.json kind of files and i will tell you about these changes also all right we are done with the installation and now we can check some uh, file changes here first one is angular in the angular.json it will make some style changes here in the style part it will add the style of material ui after that with the package underscore uh, package hyphen log dot json and the package dot json it will basically add the dependencies for angular cdk and angular material ui in index.html is it basically add three links for uh, font style because material ui basically use the roboto font and it have to add and if you don't use roboto fan font then it will not gonna work and in style.css it will just add some style with the height 100 percent and margin and some font family and etc and uh, the last one in these two files actually i made the change so we can just ignore them and last one changes in the browser animation module this is imported and registered in the import array in the app dot module dot yes great these things all are also mentioned here so now let's see how we can use the component so first of all let's use a slider component so you can import the slider component in uh, you can just simply go to the app dot module dot ts and import it here so why i am not writing this code why i am importing it because see in the world there is a lots of library and framework we cannot remember the whole code so we can just simply uh, pick from the code here from here and we can use them if we don't remember right all right so after that we can just uh, register this uh, uh, slider module that one to our uh, import array and we can just like put it like this after that we can just use this uh, Mat tag, mat slider tag in our app dot component dot ts. You can just simply put it like this. And after that, let's run here ng serve. So now we are also done with the compilation, and now now let's check the output here. And sometime we need to refresh it once. And now you can see that slider is working fine. That means 
angular and material ui is work also working fine so now let's uh, try to run some other examples so let's just go to the components and let's try with the buttons because what button is really important and primary part of any any application so let's uh, just capture some code from here and paste it in our uh, you can see that any html file or app dot component dot html file and now you will find there the css is actually not working you will find that and you will find that there is something missing here you can see that right this is not look like uh, similar to that, that example so how, uh, what we actually missed here so we have to import the button module also so how we can import it in the app.module.ts just simply go here import something from the rit angular material buttons not buttons it's actually button and let's import here mat button module and now we can use uh, register it in our imports and now let's see is it working fine or not and after importing a module it will take some time to again compile the code so let's wait for, for a moment and da, 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 and they are looking good that's great same with the uh, other component also if you are using the uh, badge or checkbox or card then you have to import its module and then it will just work properly on your screen so thank you so much for watching this video and some interview question first thing is that do we have any alternative definitely we have bootstrap so what you have to choose between the bootstrap and the material ui and what conditions you will choose so see if i want to make a better ui that time definitely i will choose the material ui but if i just need only a responsive website or responsive app that time i will choose bootstrap only and uh, one more question in interviews they can ask that can material ui make slow your application definitely it will make slow because whenever you will use any material ui button you will find that this that is the button and it will add some spans inside it uh, three spans for a button and lots of classes also that's why it will always slow so if you have very small project and you don't need fancy style so i will recommend you don't use that style just use your oven style but if you have lots of style to do and you need a, a really good style like a mobile application that time you can use the material ui so thank you so much.